Hey there, folks. Welcome to a very special episode where I am joined by Daniel Williams of First We Vibe. Thank you so much for coming through today. Thanks for having me. Tell For those of us who haven't heard of First We Vibe, which you have many more Instagram followers than I do, <laughs> so very few people haven't, but what is First We Vibe? First We Vibe, uh, typically I like to listen to music, smoke weed, and cooking, so that's how the whole concept all kind of came about. It's my favorite things. <laughs> Absolutely. And what are we making today? We're making a bulgogi Philly cheesesteak. Bulgogi Philly cheesesteak. Bulgogi. That sounds really, really good. For me, the best part of this is uh, the, the two fried eggs with it. Fri fried fried eggs. eggs? On a cheesesteak? Yeah. You can at me. <laughs> you can at me. <laughs> well, let's get started. What's the first thing we're doing? We're gonna actually freeze the, the ribeye for a good 30, 45 minutes just right, to firm it up. Ooh, oh, yes. that looks nice. That's beautiful. That's gonna make for a good sandwich. While this is in the freezer, what can we work on? We can do the marinade actually right now. All right, let's make the marinade. So we're gonna quarter up a half onion. Half of pear as well. And this all gets blended up? Blended up, yep. One onion, quartered. Half a pear, one full green onion, two teaspoons of sesame oil, four garlic cloves, soy sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar. Perfect. So now we have our marinade ready? Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. wow. So for the sauce, we'll do a QP mayo base. Say when. When. And then we'll do just a dash of sesame oil and then a good tablespoon. That's it? Yep. So usually no sauce on a cheesesteak. So no, but I'm a huge fan of the gojong mayo with bulgogi. So steak is reasonably firm, makes a Nice solid thump when you when you knock the fat. It's a good sign. Slice this up super thin. Yes. Oh yeah. Nice thin mm. slices. This is very important with cheesesteak because otherwise it's gonna get like a little chewy. And if it's too thick, then you're gonna be pulling strips out of the sandwich. If you're gonna take a sixty dollar steak <laughs> and turn it into a sandwich, <laughs> do the decent thing and slice it up into some very thin slices that your your mouth can makes for a better bite. Makes for a better bite. What are we doing with this onion? <laughs> Um, we're gonna slice that pretty thinly. All right, I can do that. And then that will just go in the marinade as well. I, all right, so then we're gonna marinate this in that funky pear yep. bulgogi mixture. How long is this going for? Um, if you don't have patience, 30. I if don't. you have a little bit more patience, an hour. Thank you. I don't think I can do it. All right, so now what? So we're just gonna go straight to the hot stove. We'll go medium high heat, and then we'll pretty much just cook it until the marinade has kind of turned into like a nice little char on it. All that sugar in the marinade, yep. the fruit, fruit puree. Along with the fat that's rendering out, it's, oh, a, yeah. it's a beautiful mixture. We can add no cheese help. to it. I don't want to backseat cheese, but I think you could load that up. Probably could fry the eggs first. Never heard of a cheesesteak with runny eggs on it. That's some really outside the box thinking. Put a little pepper on it. Which from that thing is not. Just one. Yeah. As long as all you need. Exactly. We should be good now. All right, shall we assemble? Let's bring yeah, it let's let's center here. up over here. Now the best part. Oh, on a cheese. Eggs on a cheese. Fried egg. Don't crack on me. Don't crack. Oh. We'll close her in just a tad. Break some yolks. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Now that's a cheese stick. <laughs> now that that's how that's is how a it's done. Stick. Now the best way to eat this, dip it in the yolk. Mm. Talk to me. <laughs> yep, that's all I need to see. Mm. Oh man. There's such a great balance of different kinds of richness. Like mm -hmm. the bulgogi marinade brings a little bit of acidity with the pear. Mm -hmm. with the, and then pro, pro, provolone was a perfect pick. And then the egg is just like an extra <laughs> you, you like this <laughs> kind of move on top. Mm. Sorry, Billy. Thank you so much for coming through and Absolutely. showing me how to make this. Thanks for having me. This is and a dream come true. I'm, likewise, I'm excited Thank to you. go upstairs and make some pasta for your channel. Absolutely. And smoke a joint, finally. I've been waiting all day. You know, I can't be on camera. I can't do that. I'm not, I don't have the composition. We're gonna be high on, on my channel. Yes. 